Hey guys, it's Janie. Welcome back to the Bookworms, buddy. It is Tuesday, but this is not a Tuesday Talks. This is going to be a book haul. I was not interested in the topic this week for Tuesday talk, so decided to get to this book haul instead. I was going to wait till December to do this haul, but I really want to get these books put up to where they're supposed to be because I'm tired of them just sitting around and that kind of stuff. So let's get to this. All these books have come from Recycled Books in Denton um, on the square. It's the big purple opera house and it is a great place to go book shopping helpful people um, and it's just it's just nice to peruse the shelves you know and look at everything they have three floors of books I mean you can't get bored in there for sure so only one of these books which I'll show you now it came from my niece Shelby and is the Lord of the Flies by William Golding and this book I've never read. Now, she obviously did this in school because she's got underlines and highlights and stuff like that in the book. And I just really want to read the book because I've never read it. And that that's what happened to me with Catcher in the Rye, which I didn't like that one. And then there was another one. I can't remember what that one was. And I didn't care for that one. And now this one. And we'll see how this one turns out. So there's that. And then from our bookstore, my husband is so good to me, he had got me the rest of the series of Unfortunate Events series by Lemony Snicket. So we'll go through those. I had books 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 10, and 11. We went and now I got book 5, which is the Austere Academy. These books are all in such great shape. All hardback. Um, the Ursat's Elevator, which is number 6. And then The Vile Village, which is number seven. The Hostile Hospital, which is number eight. Um, the Penultimate Peril, which is number 12. And then The End, which is number 13. And these books are in such great shape. They had restocked them, apparently, when my husband went down there to look. He got down there before I did, and they had the rest of these. They're, oh, they're in such great shape. They're like brand new books. So now I have the complete collection of the series of Unfortunate Events, and I've read books one, two, and three, and now I'll just keep continuing and finish up this series. I'm, I really enjoy the story. It is a middle grade, but it's a little... It teeters on young adult, I think. Um... But it's just these kids who are just very unfortunate, and that is pretty much what the story is. So there's those. Let's get these out of the way. <clears throat> the next one we've got here is The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey. I thought for sure that I had the fifth wave. I was almost positive I had it. <clears throat> and then saw this one on the sales rack. I'm like, oh, well, there's the next one, so i got to pick this up. Turns out I don't have the fifth wave, which I thought I might have it on my Kindle. It might be on my Kindle. Maybe that's where I remember seeing it. And so I got the Infinite Sea to read afterwards. I got this for $2. I figured why not grab it since I had the fifth wave. I just hope it's on my Kindle. So we'll see. Continuing on with this book call, we've got I Am the Messenger by Mark Zusak. I enjoyed the book Thief. I heard a lot about this book, and when I read the back, um, I decided it was definitely one I wanted to pick up. And it says, Ed Kennedy is an underage cab driver without much of a future. He's pathetic at playing cards, hopelessly in love with his best friend, Audrey, and utterly devoted to his coffee-drinking dog, the doorman. His life is one of peaceful routine and incompetence until he inadvertently stops a bank robbery. That's when the first ace arrives in the mail. That's when Ed becomes the messenger. Chosen to care, he makes his way through town, helping and hurting when necessary, until only one question remains. Who's behind Ed's mission? And I read that and I'm like, oh, pick it up. So, yeah, I'm glad I picked it up and I'm looking forward to reading it. I think Susan wants to do a buddy read on this one. So, I'm looking forward to that. These next two were on the sales rack, and I couldn't pass them up because they were a dollar. I do have these books, but these are hardback editions from the library. We got Burned and we got Fallout. These are from Ellen Hopkins. 
one dollar for these books. They're in perfect condition. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I will probably keep these on my shelf and use the other ones to read or maybe sell them back to the bookstore because they don't have them in paper. They only had these in hardback and I guess they didn't really want to keep them. I don't know. So there's those. The next one we got here is You Don't Know Me by, by Nancy Bush. This was on the sales rack for a dollar. Nancy Bush is Lisa Jackson's sister, and they do have a series, the Wicked series that they wrote together, which I still need to read. But this one is You Don't Know Me with a Y, so next year I have a Y all ready to go. And if she's as good as her sister is, then I know I'm going to absolutely love this book. The next one we got here, actually Susan kind of made me buy because she said if you ever want to read John Grisham this is the one to start with I have not read John Grisham and this one is A Time to Kill and I did read the first few pages and felt myself being tugged into the story I gotta finish up my books for this month before I jump into another one it did start out very very good so I'm thinking this might be a book that I read in December we'll see I have one more book well, I have two more books, actually, to finish my A-Z challenge, but one of those I'm going to finish this month, and then the, the last one I'll finish in December, so I might be able to squeeze this one in. It just, it, it drew me in in just, like, three or four pages, so I'm looking forward to getting to this one. Now, this next book, I just kind of picked up on a whim, just saw it on the shelf, and it is The Returned by Jason Mott. And um, this one sounded so good. You got this couple who loses their son. It, it was in 1966. And they go through life. They're making it okay. They're um, much older now. And their son shows up on their doorstep. Flesh and bone. Still eight years old. Yeah, I could not not pick this book up. So I'm, I, I don't know when I'm going to get to this. I might even read it this next month just because it sounds really good. Susan also wants to read this book so we'll see what happens with that but I had to pick that one up. This next one is called Dust by Joan Frances Turner. This was on the sales rack for two dollars. The book is in fantastic shape. It is a zombie story. So apparently this girl wakes up and she's dead. So yeah and she's a zombie so it's got a map in the front. Sounded interesting. Picked it up, two bucks. You know, you can't you can't beat that. The next one we've got here is one that I was so excited to see. My husband found this. Um, he found this down in the young adult section. And that one is Off the Page by Jody Bico and Samantha Van Leer. Samantha Van Leer is Jody Bico's daughter, and they wrote Between the Lines together. This is a companion novel to that, and I couldn't believe they had it there, and I was stoked. Yes. So there's that one. Next one we've got here is Robert B. Parker's Fool Me Twice. Um, this one is a Jesse Stone novel. This is book 11, I believe. And I only need two more, I think, to buy for the entire series. So I'm loving the Jesse Stone series so much, and I'm so glad that I got this one. I'm glad I've I've read. I'm ready for book eight, I believe. And then I have book nine and ten, and this is eleven. So yes, I think it is. I'm, I think. And the last book we have here is Unearthly by Cynthia Hand. This is a book my husband found. Um, this is a story about an angel. She's half angel or something. So, he likes young adult books. And I read them on occasion, so this will probably be something I'll read. This cover is beautiful. Look at the back of this with the feather. It's gorgeous. Yes, yeah, so that is my book haul. Um, I know this is the second book haul for November. Like I said, I wanted to wait till December to do this. But I think I'm getting together with Susan again at some point before Christmas. So, there probably will be a book haul for December. If you have read any of these books, um, let me know in the comments below and we will talk about it. Thanks guys for staying tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.